Hi everyone, I am Surya Kala, Mass Faculty of Kranti Keen School uh, for Class 1 to 7 and also Keen Coaching for RMS, Sainik and Navodaya. Today I am here with a mass topic called Number System and today I am going to discuss different types of numbers. See, the topic for today is Number system. Usually, we have first of all digits. What are the digits? Digits are nothing but 0 to 9. What are the digits? 0 to 9. When you write these digits from 0 to 9, like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and up to 9. When you write these digits in the combination, for example, if you write the group of digits at one place, 1, 2, 3, or else 3, 1, 2, or 2, 1, 3. When you write the group of digits at one place, we will get called numbers. We will get numbers. These numbers are classified into various types. The first type is natural numbers. Natural numbers are nothing but counting numbers. Usually we will start counting with 1, right? So from number 1 to infinity because we cannot say the last natural number, we say it as infinity. So we have infinity natural numbers. So from all the counting numbers starting from 1 to infinity are called natural numbers. Okay. For example, One, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. All these numbers are called natural numbers. So we denote this collection of all the natural numbers. We usually say set set of natural numbers by a letter N, capital letter N. After natural numbers, we have whole numbers. We have whole numbers. Whole numbers are nothing but counting numbers including 0. If you add 0 in the natural numbers set, then those numbers are called whole numbers. You can see the definition here. The natural numbers and the number 0 are now as whole number. So here we can say the smallest whole number will be 0. Smallest whole number will be Zero. Zero. In the same way, we cannot say what is the greatest whole number or else how many whole numbers are there in total because there will be infinite. We cannot say the last whole number or the last natural number in the numbers. If you keep on writing group of digits, you will get so many numbers. So that's why we cannot say the smallest. Uh, we cannot say greatest whole number or the greatest natural number or else how many natural numbers are there in total or else how many whole numbers are there in the total we cannot say. You can see here the example Na natural numbers including 0 are called whole numbers. Next moving forward. Yeah, we denote the collection of all the whole numbers by capital W. We will represent set of natural numbers by letter N, right? In the same way, the whole numbers will be represented by the letter W. All num natural numbers are whole numbers, but all whole numbers are not natural numbers. You have to keep focus on this word. All the natural numbers can be whole numbers because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and up to infinity can be included in the set of whole numbers. But 
zero will not come in the natural number set. That's why all the whole numbers but not be natural numbers. Next, next type is even numbers. The very simple definition for even numbers is the numbers which are ending with even digits. What are even digits? Even digits are those 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 and odd digits 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. These are called even digits and these are odd digits. If a number is ending with even digits, that is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, that number is called even numbers. That type of numbers are called even numbers. You can see the definition here. The numbers which have digit 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 at its ones place. In which place? In the ones place, if you have these digits, those numbers are called even numbers. Those numbers are called even numbers. You can see the def uh, examples here. The, in the ones place we have 8. That means 2, 4, 5, 8 is a even number. Again here 2, 3, 6, 8 in ones place which digit we have? Even digit. So 2, 3, 6, 8 is a even number. And here 4 is a even digit in the ones place. So this number is also called even number. Next, next type is odd numbers. I already told you odd digits, right? What are odd digits? 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. These are called odd digits. Whatever the definition I gave for even, it is similar to even only. But the digit should be 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. If the digit 1, 3, 5, 7 is at one's place, then those numbers are called odd numbers. You can see the example here. 2, 7, 8, 3. 3 is a odd digit. So, 2, 7, 8, 3 is a odd number. 87. 87. 7 is a odd digit. So 87 is a odd number. You can see all the dig numbers, digits at one's place. If the dig odd digit at one's place, then those numbers are called odd numbers. Next. Yes. The very important definition. And the most important questions will come from this type of numbers that is prime numbers. They will ask you questions like which of the following is a prime, which of the following is not a prime. Such type of questions you will get. So prime numbers, the numbers which are divisible by only one and itself. Only one and itself. If a number is divisible by only one and itself, then those numbers are called prime numbers. Let me give you an example. 13. 13 comes in only one table and then 13 table. Is any other number divides 13? No. So, 13 is a prime number. 13 is a prime number. You can take one more example, 23. 23, even 23 also comes in only one table and then 23 table. There is no other number that divides 23. So, such type of numbers are called prime numbers. Such type of numbers are called prime numbers. You can see the example here, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 and many more. We have around 25 prime numbers between 1 to 100. How many prime numbers? One, 25 prime numbers between 
1 and 100. You can see the example here 2, 7, 3, 5, 11, 13. All are comes in 1 and itself numbers. No other number divides those numbers. So, such type of numbers are called prime numbers. Next. Yeah. One more definition for prime numbers is only two factors. Factor is nothing but a division. Division. Factor is nothing but division. A number has only two factors, one and that number itself. I told you already. It is divisible by only one and same number itself. Then that is called a prime number. And one more point. The smallest prime number is two. What is the smallest prime number? Two. Very, very important. Smallest prime number is two. Map, why not one? If you ask me, one is divisible by one. Is there any other factor? We, to, we, to, we said prime number should have two factors, one and itself. One only the factor for one. That's why we say one is not a prime. One is not a prime. That's why the smallest prime number becomes two. Next. Yes. Composite number. The next type is composite number exactly opposite to the prime numbers. Prime numbers will have only two factors and composite numbers will have more than two factors. If the numbers which are divisible by at least one number other than one and itself are called composite number. Simply we can say which has more than two factors. For example, four. Four comes in one table and then two table and then four table. That means it has more than two factors. Two is a factor, right? So that's why four is called composite number and also the smallest composite number is 4. The smallest composite number is 4. Smallest composite is 4. You can see the example here 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. You can take 12 also. Example 12, what are the factors of 12? 1, and then 12 comes in 2 table, 3 table, 4 table, 6 table and 12 table. So, we can clearly see other than 1 and itself, there are so many numbers that divides 12. So, a number which is having like 12 more than 2 factors, such numbers are called composite numbers. Co-prime. Co-prime is the most confusing. So, listen carefully. Two prime numbers or two normal numbers are said to be co-prime when they have only one as common factor. That means one should be the common number that divides given set of any two numbers. For example, two and three. 2 and 3. Which numbers divide 2? 1 and 2. Alright? 3. 1 and 3. What is the common number that divides 2 and 3? Only 1. Right? So, the numbers which have only 1 as common factors are said to be co-prime. You can see here. The pair of numbers that have only 1 common factor as 1 are called Co-prime numbers. These co-prime numbers are also said to be relative prime. Co-prime other name is relative prime. One more example. For example, 7 and 9. 7 and 9. What are the numbers that divide 7? 1 and 7. What are the numbers that divide 9? 1, 3 and 9. Right? If you compare the two factors, 
compare the factors of the two numbers, what is common between them? One. Right? This is the common factor. So, 7 and 9 are co-prime. 7 and 9 are co-prime. One more example. 20 and 24. What are the factors? 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8 and then 12, 24. See here, common factor we have 1. Is it only one common factor it has? No. 2 is also common. 4 is also common. That's it. So, other than 1, there are some other common factors too. Then, can we say 20, 24 are co-prime? No. Those are not co-prime. Because other than 1, there are some other common factors. That's why 20 and 24 are not co-prime. That means, co-prime numbers are those numbers which have only 1 as common factor. Next, moving forward. Yeah, you can see the examples here. 3 comma 5, 11 comma 3, 107 comma 1. Sorry, sorry. These are not examples of co-prime. Yeah, here. 28 and 57 are co-prime. Next. The last one of today's session, that is twin prime. Twin prime is nothing but the difference between any two prime numbers must be 2. If the difference between any two prime numbers is 2, then we say that those pair is called twin prime. You can see two prime numbers difference is 2 are called twin prime. 3 comma 5. First, you have to check both are prime or not. 3 and 5 both are prime. Then take difference of those two. 5 minus 3, 2. So, we can say 3 comma 5 is a twin prime. One more example. For example, 15 comma 17. The difference is 2. So, can I say this is a twin prime? No, because 15 is not a prime number. If 15 is not a prime number, even after you are getting difference 2, this is not a twin prime. Not a twin prime. You can see some other examples. 3 comma 5, both are prime and the difference is 2. So, 3 comma 5 is a twin prime. 11 and 13, both are prime. And the difference if you take 2, 107 and 109, both are prime. If you take the difference, you will get 2. So, twin in the self itself means 2, right? So, the numbers which gives, the prime numbers which give difference 2 are called twin prime numbers. So, this is all about today's session. Uh, if you... Uh, are interested in more classes at free of cost please subscribe like share and subscribe to this channel if you want to visit our school you can contact 9030409797 and we have also providing online program uh, thank you for watching